Larry Snow here, your certified MailChimp expert to help you simplify email marketing. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add personalization to your campaign emails. And I'm also going to be answering the question, why the heck should you personalize email? What does it actually mean? So let's get started. Answering those last two questions first, what is personalization when it comes to campaign emails? It's probably what you think it might mean, and that is making your emails more personalized to that individual contact. And why you should do it is because they want to have this interaction. They want to have this engagement. They've opted in to receive content from you, and they want to be receiving information that is useful to them. And to do that, you want to make your content more personalized to them, more catered toward them. And how you do that is by using the data that you've been collecting over time. You've been collecting purchases that they've made. You've been collecting links that they've clicked on. You've been collecting geographic data or age data, or depending on your email marketing provider, you've been even tracking links that they're clicking on on your website. Using that data, you can then send content to them, specific, personalized to them, so that you get more engagement, more clicks, and more purchases. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a little piece of that personalization. We're going to be adding a first name to our campaign email, but it doesn't have to be just a first name. You could use the full name. You could use an email address. You could use past purchases if you're capturing that data. For the personalization to work in MailChimp, MailChimp uses something called merge tags. Now, merge tags are just a unique identifier that represents the actual data that's associated with each contact. So let's go take a look at this and explain it in a little bit more detail. So I'm in my test audience dashboard. I'm going to go over here to the right hand side, click on the drop down and click on settings. When we get on the settings page, you can either scroll down a little bit and click on audience fields and merge tags, or you can go up to settings here and click on audience fields and merge tags. The audience fields represents the field labels associated with your signup form. MailChimp then goes ahead and assigns a merge tag for each of the field labels in that signup form. And they put in some defaults. They put in F name for first name, L name for last name, address for an address, and phone for phone number. You can add more field labels and MailChimp will assign more merge tags for each of those field labels. To add a field to your signup form, you click on the very bottom here to add a field. Scroll down a little bit, and we have several different types of fields that you can add to your audience signup form. So you can have a text type of number, radio buttons, drop downs, you can have a date, birthday, and etc. I won't be adding any additional fields here, but I wanted to show you that you can do that. So we're going to click on Cancel Adding Field. Also note that you can have these fields being required or visible in your signup form. We have here some things that are visible and some things that are not visible. Some things are required, like the first name. So let's go ahead and add F name merge tag to our campaign email. So we switch over to all campaigns. I've got one in draft here. Click on it, open it up. The first thing you should do to enable merge tags in your campaign email in the content of your email is to add an audience in the to section. So we click on edit recipients. We see here that it's going to all subscribers in the test audience. And a very neat little thing that MailChimp has is giving you the ability to add or to replace the email address that you're sending it to, to as the first name or last name, or you can even customize it if you wanted to. So I have first name, last name here as the merge tag. So when a person receives my email, it'll say to Larry Snow versus to Larry at LarrySnow.me, which is a nice touch. But let's keep it to first name and we'll click Save. So that's probably one of the first and easiest steps that you can do to personalize your campaign emails. I'll leave the subject blank for now and we'll click on edit. So in the edit here, I'm in the new MailChimp builder, the beta version, but this will work just as well in the classic builder. I've got something here with a title that says, welcome to the club. Well, I wanna add the first name here and I'll wanna insert the merge tag that represents the first name. So I'll click in here and I'll type in, hey, space, comma, space. 
Now, after hey, right before the comma, I want to go over here to the top right and click on Merge Tags, and I want to select First Name. And that's how easy it is to add a merge tag that represents the first name of each of your contacts. Now, does it have to be just first name? No, you can add other merge tag fields to your campaign emails. But we're just adding in first name for you to get an idea of how this all works. The next thing you want to do is make sure that it works properly. Well, how do we do that? Well, MailChimp gives you the preview option. So if we go over to the top right here, click on preview. And as we look at the preview, you'll see it says, hey, test first name. What the heck does that mean? Well, it's basically filling in what represents the merge tag if there actually was a first name here. So how do we view that it's actually working properly? Over on the right hand side, you'll see enable live merge tag info. So in other words, it's going to be picking up the data from your contacts and displaying it inside that merge tag. So if we enable that, we'll see that the test first name actually turns into a name that's associated with one of our contacts. And we can click through to make sure all is working. Now, if you have hundreds and thousands of contacts, you're really not going to go through each one, but this is more of a bot check to make sure that the merge tag is working as it should, which in this case it is. If we turn off enable live merge tag info, it goes back to test first name. Let's click exit out of the preview mode so we know that our merge tag is working appropriately. So the question you might be asking is, well, what if some of my contacts didn't use a first name because it wasn't required, so they left that blank? What am I supposed to do? Well, MailChimp gives you a nice recourse, and that is to put in default merge tag value. So let's go take a look how that works. So if I go back into my audience fields and merge tags, you'll notice over here on the right hand side, we have a column called default merge tag value. So depending on what your list is for, it could be a membership, it could be an association, it could be a variety of different things. Maybe it's just customer based. Whatever the main focus of your audience list is, you want to think about what should be going in there default in lieu of a person's first name. So let's stick with friend. Make sure you go down here to the bottom and click Save Changes. All right, our changes have been saved. Let's go back over to the Campaign Builder, go back into preview mode and see how this default merge tag value looks like. And you notice right away where it used to say test first name now says, hey, friend, because that is now the default merge tag value. So if I enable live merge tag info, so you notice that when there is a first name for that particular contact, it will use that first name. However, if I start to click through my test list here, You'll see one at one point it will change to hey friend because here it is right here. Uh, Shemp doesn't have a first name associated with his contact details. So in lieu of a first name, we add in friend automatically because that's the default value. Does that make sense? Also notice when we're in preview mode and we've enabled live merge tag info, remember that we've added in first name to the to field. And that means if a person does not have a first name, it will be substituting that default merge tag value. And in this case, it will be friend. So keep that in mind when you're using that to field if a person does not have a first name. And then the, another question you might have is, well, what happens when I send a test email to myself? What will I see? Well, if you just send a test email to yourself, it'll say, hey, friend because it's not going to have a value of a associated contact because it's just a test email. MailChimp provides a merge tag cheat sheet, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below where you can go check that out and learn a lot more about the merge tags and what is out there for you to use in your campaign emails and automations. And if you'd like to have a little bit more understanding of MailChimp, I suggest these two videos. We have one called Tags, and another one about groups. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.